Hi everybody, my name is Grace Kemp and I'm going to try to answer the question, how long is a generation? Now this is particularly applicable to a verse in Matthew 24. Um, just to set it up, a few days before Christ was crucified, he took Peter, James, John, and Andrew to the Mount of Olives, which is a half mile east of Jerusalem. And they ask him, what sign shall be, excuse me, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus proceeded to give them 54 signs that will precede his second coming. This is not the rapture. The rapture is at the beginning of the tribulation. The second coming is at the end of the tribulation. And the signs had to do with uh, bloodshed and famine and disease and earthquake and asteroid hits and atmospheric disturbances and tortures and beatings and hatred, horrible things that are going to happen in the tribulation. And then he made this statement, when he see all these things, know that it, it is near even at the doors. Verily I say to you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Now people are puzzled. Does that mean us who have seen the rebirth of Israel in 1948, etc., that we'll be alive at the second coming? Uh, no, of course not because the tribulation hasn't even started yet. So how long is a generation? Now if you're looking for a length, you need to go to Genesis 15, 13 to 16, uh, which is the first mention of generation, and in that case it's a hundred years. Twice, Numbers 32, 13, and Psalms 95, 10, it's called, it's mentioned as 40 years. However, neither apply in this case, because a generation, uh, more than a time period, it, it is a group of people who share common experiences. Let me give you an example. In other words, it's not time factor, but it's a group of people that share a common experience. Uh, the generation of them that seek Him. Okay, so they would be people, all of whom were seeking God. A generation of vipers, an evil and adulterous generation, a wicked generation, a faithless and perverse generation, a chosen generation, uh, a faithless generation, generation of the righteous. See, these are descriptions of, uh, of a certain class of people describing their behavior and activity. And that is what it means in this case. Truly I say to you, Matthew 23, 36, 24, 33, and 34. Truly I say to you, all these things shall come upon this generation. When ye see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say to you, this generation shall not pass away till all these things be fulfilled. So let me tell you what the generation means in this instance. This is um, what we call the Olivet Discourse, and Christ is talking about the tribulation, uh, which will culminate in the second coming of Christ. This generation refers to the Jewish remnant during the tribulation who witnesses all 54 signs that precede the second coming. All of them will survive to witness the second coming of Christ. In other words, we're talking about the remnant of Israel that is hiding out through the second half of the tribulation. This generation, that group of Jews in Petra likely, that particular group of people, those Jews that have gone through all of the tribulation, shall not pass away till all these things be fulfilled, including the second coming. That is a tremendous message of hope. It shows that there's going to be a hundred percent survival of all of those, not uh, the rest of the earth will be downsized from a population of about seven billion to at the end of the tribulation a population of about two and a half billion. However, all the Jews hiding up in Petra, hundred percent will survive. And it, 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 it confirms the message in Luke 21, 18, it says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not a hair of your head perish. 100% survival of those Jews, uh, although all the world is out to destroy them, they survive. And when they are rescued at the second coming by Christ, I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication. There is a glorious future for the remnant of Israel. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh.
Uh, so we need to be ready. Uh, we are uh, in the church age. We can still turn to Christ and be saved and taken out of the rapture. Uh, the wrath of God is going to fall after the rapture, but the generation of Jews, the remnant of Israel, will be preserved through the tribulation. God bless you.